Welcome to Staying Relevant, the podcast hosted by Sam Thompson, King of the Jungle, and his hairy little friend, me, Pete Wicks. Uh, I will be drinking and I will be swearing. If you don't like that, go f- yourself. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, YouTube, all that crap, at Staying Relevant Podcast, rate, review, and all that stuff. Um, you've been waiting patiently, so let's jump straight into part two with the boys. Trust me, it's going to be a good one. The best, the best Tony Bellew story has to be the foot in the food. The foot, the foot in the food, surely. Oh, oh right, actually, because I, I want to hear this because everyone, uh, when they came out and they did their interviews and all that sort of stuff, yeah. and everyone said that their favourite moment or the funniest moment yeah. oh was the, the the foot in the f- food thing. But I still don't know the actual Can story. I, I don't think something. anyone knows yeah. the proper basically, story. Basically, right? It's a myth, so, 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 bear in mind, you know what it's like. like. Everyone watching, I promise you, this is legit. The jungle, they don't give you any other food. Like You no. get what you're given. So you get rations of tiny little rice and beans, right? So you are starving. And so the main meal, if you get loads of stars, the main meal is like the big meal. Yeah, where course, everyone yeah. comes together. It's a really nice moment. Everyone cooks together and stuff like that. It was a banging meal. I can't actually remember what the meal Who, was. Was you head chef that night? No, it wasn't me. I was, you it was, was second. It was Josie. It was Josie. They made this amazing meal. I can't remember exactly it what it was. It was so banging. But obviously, when you cook on the fire, when you want to, you know, when you're done, you have to put the frying pan on the floor. There's nowhere else for it to go, right? And... <laughs> The food looks amazing. We're, we're starving. We're looking at it all like this. Just can't wait with Why our little bitty, our no little bitty cans ready to go. And big teas there. Sorry. sorry. No one's eating for yeah, You know what I mean? Yeah, it what feels like that. You know what I mean? In. I'm just adding to the story. Big teas there. And he's, you know, he's, he's moving around. And he's, you know, everyone's really happy. We've made an amazing meal. Tony's there with his boots on. Bearing in mind that day we'd done a challenge where we'd all trod on mealworms and cockroaches <laughs> and all that. It's all in the boot. You know what I mean? These are jungle wait, boots, wait, right? Wait, before you say that though, <laughs> don't forget that we had just had a change of the garden. Me and you were off de- deputy yeah, yeah, and yeah. Captain Dewey, yeah. and just to fuck shit up, they had made Tony chef. Now, Tony, I don't know if you saw this, Sous but chef. Tony had said prior to that, don't make me chef. I don't want to cook. I've never cooked in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they go, Tony chef. Tony was so sweating. He's, he's fucking pissed, man. Like, yeah, Tony's yeah. actually angry at this he's, point. He's not happy. He's sulk. He's sulking, sulk, Tony. You sulked all night. I that can night. cook because I cook at home. But, but I didn't want the responsibility of cooking for a group and no one wanted to follow Fred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because imagine you fuck everyone's dinner up. You are just not going to go but down But you well. were so annoyed all night and then the piece de resistance is what happened, Marvin? And it was your fault. So was Tony's it there. The food's, were food's ready to you know, dish out and we're you know, ready for it. All excited, just staring at the food as you do. And Tony's doing some stuff around the frying pan on the floor that's full of... This off. is the meal. And he's, yeah, he's pissed anyway. And then... He slips and he literally, the size 12. 12 boot goes in the frying pan, covers the entire meal. And then he sort of does a little dance in it as well. <laughs> so really, 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 really gets it in. Takes his foot out. He's obviously even more. I thought he was going to knock someone out. He's, yeah. he, he, was he was fuming. So angry at himself. And then we all look at it and no one says anything. <laughs> we all look at it. We can see that there is boot debris on our <laughs> food. And we all look at each other like, all right, should we play it up? Yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Go over to it. It was and Marvin. Don't we... even try. So we all look at each other. Marvin fucking looks down and goes, right, so I'm going to be first. <laughs> it goes straight We in. can never, ever again in our lives, if you're in a restaurant or whatever and the fork goes on the floor, we can never. No, never you know what I mean? Because we ate the food and we it tasted amazing. And do you know what? You know there was what I mean? another moment. Just had a bit of seasoning, boot seasoning. Yeah, had a bit of seasoning. He'd, 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 so he'd, we so didn't care. He'd like, squeezed it round, so right? And then I know Tony was so fucked off with what he'd done because he felt like he'd let everyone down again. He was already. Because he thought we weren't going to eat it. And so he tried to, he nearly kicked, he literally booted it, turned around and air kicked the fucking thing out of frustration. Do you remember that? He was going to volley the pan. He was going to volley the entire pan. <laughs> kicked the whole, and then I realised that that's their tea. Yeah. And I was the I only did one to save you out that for it. I didn't need to. Oh, mate, I had seconds. Nice. Why is it? Was it my fault? Did I do it? Was no, because you, to make me chef, he just said, we need to create carnage. Oh, yeah. And he was just adamant on wanting to create a big fucking problem. I was like, why do you want to do that, Sam? Everything's going nice. Just just keep it calm. No one needs problems. No one needs headaches. And he's like, if we put you chef, it'll be carnage. Like, <laughs> Mate, if he, everything remember, because he, crazy. he was obviously in charge, but I was there just to oversee Sam's decisions. Yes. If he'd have had, his, babysit, own way, yeah, if he'd have had his own way, yeah, if he'd have had his own way. Oh, my word. Yeah. I mean, it would have been great TV, but yeah. I'm like, Sam, I don't care about the TV, mate. We just need to eat. So let's yeah. just keep it nice. And, you, you know clean. what I mean? <laughs> 
Oh. But look, anyway, right, the, you've all seen it. Everyone listening has seen it. Everyone watched has seen it. But what you haven't seen, and we, look, we I know we've got everyone's a, there. So they didn't show there, me putting my foot in the food. <clears throat> no, they did. They, they, they cheered, but they, did, but they didn't show it up enough. No, because everyone came out and everyone's talking about this foot in the food incident. And we're, yeah. everyone that like, obviously has seen you do it, but they I'm didn't so make a big funny. deal. So, so funny. For, it wasn't that funny. We were like, what the fuck was I funny about that? It was, because it was because he was so angry prior to it yeah. and then tried to boot the pan afterwards, but was then didn't want to, didn't want no one to eat. So like just sort of like air kicked and then I'm sort of like got to, annoyed I, I've himself. I've been used to starving with the career I've had. I've been used to making weight and doing things like that. But when it was like with the light, with the lads were okay but when it comes to like a little Danny there was nothing of it and I yeah, just felt tiny, so bad man. for it yeah. Yeah. and then you set your foot in a food pretty rude yeah. to be honest with you Fuck off, mate. mate we still ate it yeah, and it tasted amazing it so <laughs> one other thing to, to touch on then is um, the reunions yeah the reunions um, so obviously it was it was you three and Nigel yeah. oh and Josie and, and Josie, Josie yeah so and um, Josie and Mia that, that was nice Nigel and his daughter the reunions between you and Rachel <laughs> you and Michelle and, and you me too. and Dipstick <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah have you seen them yes no I've seen I, uh, no I've not watched the, the entirety of it no so I've, I'm, seen, I've seen my fucking whinging face which I was furious <laughs> when she got unveiled to me mate I was not happy and that security guard knew I weren't happy mate, because he, he, went, he went for the little walk him. he come back he was all of us are buzzing fume. I said Tom what's wrong he said Marv I wish I never would have done that because you've said if, before when you did SAS if, yeah, you didn't want to yeah. you didn't right, want to get the when I done SAS see you slammed the laptop yeah you know? so yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm quite an audible person and that, that's no, you know, you love no, I know that, but that me, not me persona. When I'm out there, I, I'm that's not me. She sees me, and my mm. kids see me. But that's for me, that's for them to see, not the rest of the world. So I try and keep my family life as not private because I do put them out there and I, I give them a little bit of extra. But I didn't want me, mine and her relationship yeah. is for me and her. Mm. And and like ours, I didn't sign up for that. So I was fucking furious. So when I seen her. It was shock at first, and then it upset me because I thought she's in the fucking jungle. I know what it must have for her to be in that jungle, for her to go on camera. It must have been an awful lot because I know for a fact if your you guys wouldn't have come and your miss would have come, she didn't. She wouldn't have even entertained it. But she, the reason she went in is because she thought if I don't go in, and, and they and they they see theirs, it looks terrible. So the the build, the build up to the day of that was fucking hilarious. Go on, I you're some behind the, the scenes, Peter. <laughs> so so we didn't know until the night before that yeah. they were going to do that the next day. So they said it's about eight o'clock. Everyone got a phone call. Listen, you're going to go in tomorrow and see him. Nice. I said, do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, well, like, why? Like, I just didn't, I, I thought, because I didn't, they called us all separately, individually. So I yeah. thought someone else should see their part because I thought, I, I don't need to see him, he's fine. Oi! Yeah. Well, no, do you know what I mean? Like, like it's different. People had their wives and shit there. I'm just yeah, fucking, fair. I'll just hang about with you now and then. Um, <laughs> so, so they told us the night before. Then the next day, they said to us, we're going to go to camp as normal, so we're up at fucking four Tell them what happened the night before first. See, this is the thing as well, party Pete. <laughs> Prior to any of us knowing any of this, yeah. or, or even you know I coming out, met, he didn't even know Pete looked like at this stage. He was out with our wives every night on the tequila. <laughs> <laughs> every night he's chucking tequila down our wives' necks. Yeah, you know I, mean, I mean, listen, it's it all was... over the press as well. <laughs> Pete's basically dated every single one of their wives. By this yeah, point. fucking. My wife had a hangover. <laughs> She it had was a hangover. She felt rough as yeah. everything, she, and I knew something was up with her. So when when she when I first seen her, I was like, "What the fuck's up with you?" And, and I was thinking, I, I was looking, I was going, "Something's wrong. What is wrong? You better. Tell, what is going on?" And I was thinking, "Has someone done something to her? Has something happened to me house outside?" Yeah. So many things. Were and I was going, "Rach, I know something's up. Please tell me what the what, what is wrong." And literally ten seconds before she finally went, she went, "It was Pete." <laughs> I've just got a little bit of a hangover. I'm fucking for the last twenty five minutes, I've been sitting here thinking something really bad's wrong. You've got a fucking hangover. <laughs> so, so that's how we not on about people, by the way. Basically, the family and friends called it getting wixed. Yes, uh, that became what it was known as. And what had happened is they called us about eight o'clock and didn't tell us we were going to be doing that. So what we used to do because we were up. Um, well, some of us went out every night, but for everyone else, what we do is we would have, we'd come back after being at the camp uh, about midday, yeah. and then we'd have a few drinks by the pool in the afternoon. But this day, everyone had quite a few drinks. So by eight o'clock, everyone's quite pissed. <laughs> so then when we get the phone call about Don't going in tomorrow, at this point, everyone's then quite excited about going to see, you know, their partners and whatever else. 
So we had a few more drinks. Then we go and they tell us, listen, it's gonna, you're going to go and do the camp thing that is normal and you're going to be there for a couple of hours doing that and that fucking sweating tent. Terrible for us it was. Um, <laughs> but then you're going to go and see your partners or whatever else. What they didn't, and they sent everyone, uh, all the rest of the family and friends, like the kids and everyone home, uh, back to the camp, apart from Rachel, Michelle, me, um, Nigel Farage's daughter and Mia. We sat in that tent for about eight hours. Yeah, it was long. Because it took so long because they had to do it individually, that to get all of you away in certain yeah. things. And there was a task going on. We did. What tried we, we do we, before we, this? We bit thought there was a task. There was no task. No, there was a, no, there was we a task done that happened before with Farage. Before. Farage and you, maybe. Yeah, it was me and Farage doing yeah. the Christmas thing. Yeah, we did singing all the Christmas. Yeah, you, yeah, and you were drinking all that and stuff. Then, that's what took long because that took a, even when we went to that trial, it took an hour for us to start it, and it took a while. So, so, yeah. so then, so we were just waiting around in this fucking. It was getting. I imagine like, you was getting, getting so annoyed. Yeah, so Rochelle had spilt coffee down her cream trousers, mm. so they'd sent them off to be clean, and she was wearing one of the Rangers fucking combat oh, things, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do, doing colouring in, doing yeah. colouring in on the table. Yeah, yeah. So she was having a lovely time, like she was at preschool. <laughs> um, <laughs> then Rachel's hair was all over the fucking shop, so she's trying to flatten all her hair down. Going, I can't go in like this. I can't go in like this. Anyway, so we're all sat there just talking about. It. I'd that day. I'd I'd taken a water bottle with vodka. Oh my! Oh my that was that. That was every day, Pete. Don't just say that day. Tony, We've heard Tony, about the party bus in the morning. Oh yeah, now, Pete. That was every so day. So I was having a couple of drinks. So I was fine. Um, but we're all talking about. It, and I remember Rachel saying. <laughs> I remember Rachel saying he's not going to want to see me. And I went, Well, of course he is. And she went, No, he won't want to see me. No. And I was like, well, What do you mean? She was like, He'll lose his head if he sees me. And I went, what do you mean? Surely he's going to want to see you. And she went, no, nah, because it, like, he, he puts things in boxes. Yeah. He said, so he's there to do a fucking job, so he won't want to see me till the end. Um, and I was like, no, no, you'll be fine. Have a vodka. Um, <laughs> so, so we went Makes all sense now. And, and then <laughs> Rochelle, was really, yeah, so yeah. Rochelle was really excited about seeing you, but obviously she, we didn't know that you'd done a trial because they didn't tell us that you were doing a trial. Yeah. So when we came back, um, Rachel, we, we watched the screens um, and we could see you. So we could see everyone come back in. So we could see how happy you when you came back in and yeah. see you bouncing around <laughs> telling everyone to smell and pee or whatever yeah. Yeah. and then we see you all back into camp and everyone's like oh Tony and you just go yep and you go up to the toilet and you just have a fucking minute to yourself yeah. and I went fucking hell Rach like, he's like he's fucking gutted I said what'd you do to him <laughs> and she went no 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 like he, he, he gets really upset and he don't like it and Ra Rachel when she came back she was really upset because she was like I feel like I shouldn't have gone yeah. because she didn't want to fucking ruin it for you but it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever mm. seen was you two so they showed that no, sorry. Did they show that? Did they show me? So that you see me? Yeah, they show you take a time, take a time out in the. Oh, yeah, okay. they don't because you're in the but, talks, you can't see. You can just <laughs> hear you in there, yeah, yeah deep yeah. breathing and having a minute where everyone else was talking about it, and you yeah. just went a bit quieter. I, 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 said, I, I could, could see that he. What he's just it explained why yeah, it was like yeah, that. So that. beautiful, yeah. I have no but then the, ne the next morning, obviously we always checking on each other, and I was like, "You're right." And he's, you said to me, "I'm actually pleased I've done it." Yeah, you changed your tune at the end. Yeah. But it was, it, it was it was it was it was a like a, a really beautiful moment to watch. And your love. your one with Rochelle, man, fucking hell, mate! Your I pulled face. I pulled a face I've never seen myself pull mate, before. This is, so when <laughs> Rochelle came back, she went. He did this weird face. <laughs> like, so I mean, what was it like when he saw him? She so went. She thought she, it was weird. Yeah, and, and she went. She went. He just went. Like that, for, but she went. He wouldn't close his mouth. But the best part is, she she came back and she went. Oh, do you know what I did though? And she went. I just fully kissed him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, do you know why? And because you just I been just that done shit. the fish eye thing where oh, I squashed yeah. bloody 30 fish eyes in my mouth and drank the juice. And obviously then I've come back to camp. So naturally, I mean, listen, we don't smell the best anyway. We, smell, we, we actually smell like fire because yeah, we all dry yeah, our clothes on the fire. Like, yeah. um, but obviously my beard would have stunk of fish. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's why when I first see her, apart from having the shock of my life, I'm telling you now, I've never been more shocked. It, it was like I saw a ghost. Like, like that, unbelievable. Yeah. Like to see her and also the fact that she was in the red chair in the middle of camp, it was just unbelievable. And just every emotion goes through you. Mm. And then, yeah, obviously massive hug. And then I'm like, I'm sorry, I stink. I, I could smell the fish myself. Well, you know she, what I mean? So she said that when she came back and she was like, and he did like, he really smelled the fish. And then obviously the next day we watched the trial and she, I was sat next to her and she went, oh, I kissed that. <laughs> <laughs> you were just like eating like fish shit and that. And she was like, yeah, she well, literally nice. went, she went, I've got to brush my teeth twice. Do you, do, you know, do you know what I love though is that is the Pete Wicks explanation of the behind the scenes yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah. no one's seen not the listener not us or anyone yeah. like that yeah. so you called yourself the wags didn't you and what this all I find absolutely brilliant 
is, and I would like you to elaborate on this a little bit, Pete, and Tony, to be honest with you. You're now Uncle Pete. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> well, look, we, uh, there was a group of us that spent quite a lot of time together. Um, so there's like, the, you know, Danielle's um, mum, dad and, and friend and then like Rachel and Michelle when she came. And like, we were all kind of, and Nick's girlfriend, uh, yeah. Sarah, like a lot of us were all kind of Who together. you were linked to in the press at one point. I was linked to fucking everyone <laughs> for fucking number no reason. But they just can't Mental. everyone else that's there. Anyway, um, so we spent quite a lot of time together. Um... Uh, what was the question? The question is, why are you called Uncle Pete? Oh, oh, yeah. So, obviously, playing in the pool that when we get back, because Rach had the kids and that, so we were all kind of together, because we didn't want, um, like, Rachel just to be, like, left out with the boys, and fucking Corey's so good as well, like, like yeah. honestly. Corey mate, being one of your Tony's, ki son. Your Tony's kids, kids mate, are the best, man. Your yeah. kids are unbelievable. Tell him about the whistle. So we, so we were all, so we were all, we were all, <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's fucking terrible, because me and you fucking looked up at yeah. this. Oh, no, no. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so we were all kind of together, so we're all kind of Messing about in the um, in the pool and like fucking frying balls. Are you in the pool with Tony's kids? Yeah, we're doing all this like frying balls and everyone's having a thing. And then you're I, so wholesome. And then I think Corey started and he was like, "Oh, it's like Uncle Pete." And I was like, "Oh fuck me, that's a name that's going to stick, isn't it?" <laughs> um, Very I like at the it. start, Pete didn't want to be there at all. No, I couldn't think of anything worse. And then suddenly I was right involved in everything. But yeah, so we all kind of took it in turns to go and do. I, I was going to go jet skiing and do some other bits, but we couldn't get time to do it. And yeah, there was just loads of things. But it was just a really nice. All the friends and family as well. Like all of us got on really, really well, and it was it was quite nice because all the people that were getting on really well in there, yeah. like all of yous, mm. all the friends and family were getting that's on really so well on the outside. Yeah, 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 we yeah, did. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like all the tight groups yeah. in there were the tight groups. Out Outside as well. To be fair, Pete was obviously I wasn't there for most of it. Pete was the glue oh! for the family. You know what I mean? Like he was the centre of it, and everyone just gravitated to Pete. You know, and he definitely them. spent a lot of money in the bars as well. So Tony, I, do you, I told, do your, I told do him your kids love him. My boys <laughs> love him. Like how Colby asked me yesterday, Dad, when can we see Pete again? No. Um, there was Uncle one Pete. really really worrying moment though with your youngest. Have you heard about this one? Which one? Do you lose with the, with the baby? No, no, no. Do you lose so, it? So, so we're just in the pool and uh, uh, we're all messing about and then your youngest comes up and he's just poked me and he's gone, Dad. And I went, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's because he'd just been with Rachel. Did, and, she'd been so <laughs> and I was going, and Rachel was, she was crying. She was like, I've just been talking. He misses his dad. He's just been talking about his dad. So he's just come up to me and just gone down. And I went, no, 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 no. no, no, no. You've never seen someone get out that pool. You've never seen anyone get out that pool so quick. <laughs> 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 Mate, if, if his dad um, looks a bit like you, lad, I'll, I'll take that all day. And, 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 so do you know what? So when we came out. Rachel did tell me about that. She told me about it actually when we got together and because that's just come back to me she said Kobe's called Pete dad and I was like what, not when she I, saw I you like, in the jungle I was like yeah in the jungle what, before you'd even met me yeah oh, oh fuck it mate she she'll be wearing prick so no, so, so, so I thought to myself fucking dad with a fucking silly <laughs> <laughs> that's what went through me head again do you know what if I'd known that I wish we'd got a little trilby so that's when you brilliant. finally see the baby we had a little trilby yeah, on yeah, yeah. him oh mate smart. Hey, do you know what so when we came out we all got pretty fast so like we only didn't, we didn't really get to speak, spend much time in Australia we got like one day at the very end yeah, yeah. Like a reunion. what a lovely day that was yeah that, that was a great day so, so no one knows this either but just the day before we left we all had a really nice wholesome beach day yeah. me Pete Rochelle Mark Marvin, Tony, wife, kids. Yep. And we all went to the beach, all of us, and um, just had the most beautiful beach day ever. And I uh, like, had running races on the beach and stuff like that. But what I found the most brilliant thing about the entire day was learning that Tony Bellew has a whistle for his kids. <laughs> So Tony, it works Tony's well. boys, right, are seven <laughs> foot works. ten. They are yeah. the tallest things I've ever seen in my life, right? And you would look at them and you'd be like, oh, you could batter me. <laughs> they are the most polite, sweetest, well-educated, well-mannered kids you've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. But the funny thing is, he's got the shaggiest hair as well. <laughs> Corey's got the shaggiest hair. <laughs> and you're just like... They're like seven foot tall and you go, oh, you boys must be so unruly. Like there's no way that you boys are kept in line, even by a big tone standard. Bro, I've never seen anything like it. Thank they you. run to the sea. Tony does this whistle, right? <laughs> What's the whistle? <laughs> so he does that whistle to him, right? <laughs> they stop dead <laughs> as they're running to the sea. They stop dead. Seven <laughs> foot tall of them, four of them. Stop dead as they're about to run in. Turn back like dogs and go, yeah, da, what do you need? And he just goes, oi, K, 
keep in between those things. Go out there. The tide will get you. And they go, all right, Dad. And then he like releases them. <laughs> and then he like go again. And I've never seen uh, anything brilliant. like it in it's my life. Brilliant. Well, if you think that's bad, when Tony told us about this whistle, because he was like, what's that? Uh, me and Marv went and got some towels at one point in the shop. And then and Tony then tried to come and find us. Um, so Tony started whistling them. in the fucking shop. Like, honestly, I felt like Babe the Sheep because I heard it and I started me and him were fucking running around. That's Tony. Tony yeah, we threw it. Tony's there. Tony. Tony. <laughs> so, so now we all answer to the fucking whistle. That's it. it was brilliant though because Tony... It's just a whistle that I've done with my kids since they were, since they were born because if... I've, I've, I've got that one. I've got too many kids, basically. And when <laughs> you've got boys, boys, is, they're not like girls. Girls just stay close to you. They're beautiful. They're lovely. They just, like, I haven't got a girl, so that's what I assume that they're like. And because uh, I've got boys, they just they just go in places like shops and they just run off. And you're yeah. just like, what are you doing? <laughs> or just do that whistle, bump the back. And he loved that. Uh, like he's meowed the stays here and he still pays attention. Is, Marv's got kids, but he literally in the shop goes, Oh shit, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's like everyone becomes Tony's kids when he does it's those true. whistles. <laughs> it's like, what's going on here? But I just found that one of the most wholesome brilliant things that I've ever seen that day in itself well, that yeah, day it itself lovely. is one of the best days I've had in yeah. in a decade mate it was yeah. it was, did, did we fly really home that day. night that we was, flew yeah. home that yeah. night and then we all yeah we all that flew back that night it's a shame day. actually because it was a, obviously you know myself uh, Rachel the kids and, and Rochelle weren't in the jungle so we were sort of on holiday but because we, had, we still had to do stuff it never really felt like we were mm. actually really on holiday mm. and obviously for you guys you've been through fucking shit it was the first day I think where everyone actually just relaxed. felt quite relaxed yeah because although we were flying home that night it was just like should we just go to the beach and fuck and it was, it yeah. was really really beautiful um, listen we are basically out of time we're nearly out of time but just really no! quickly boys just after who do we we've done all this who do we want to win the jungle no 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 after <laughs> after we've done it's gonna do <laughs> after we've done all of this right like i want to know we want to know what what you boys are saying what are you up to what you're doing and you know this is obviously i i know <laughs> put it this way you've come down here for the goodness of your heart but i also know we've got to apply what mate, you boys are doing be so. stupid we're just here to see each other mate see us come on, on I've, I've, I've got a question for you actually just on, before mate. we go um sam's condom yeah oh my lord uh, Tony, have you not heard about this? I, I was there, mate. I, I witnessed what he was doing. Well, yeah, but we going extra no, small. But Tony, yeah. it's really happening, no, apparently. It's not it, what, what, what is, and his colour? Has he got a colour? Uh, oh, pink. No, I've got you any Well, purple. no, the original idea was pink, okay. but obviously we know really that purple is women. your... Scale sitting right there. Yeah, but it's, it's all about the safety, Tony. We're, yeah, we're currently having conversations, so... Um, Can we just have the conversation out the room later? Yeah, <laughs> there will be, at some point, fingers crossed, a purple edition oh of the Jairus condoms oh in... Extra small. Flying the extra small flag, baby. Oh, Mr. Come Sam on. Thompson. There's, there's, there's a couple of things I'd like to talk about. It, first of all, I'm doing, I don't know if you've seen, but I've done a few this morning segments, right? Yes. Uh, really hard. Gold, golden but, Chihuahua. The Golden retrie 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 Retriever. Retriever. But Chihuahua was oh, even better. Oh, Chihuahua. Was, that's Chihuahua. That's, that's <laughs> Nat Chihuahua. That's better. That's, better. that's Nat Chihuahua. That's that's better. Better. That's that's better. Better. So much I think Retriever, you're bigging yourself up a bit too much, to be honest. Let's start with Chihuahua. The Golden Chihuahua. You know what I mean? Wow. Wow. That's it. It's so fucking hard doing this more. It's so hard. But I do these roving reporting things, right? And all people ever say is, Everybody in love. <laughs> I have done it. We've, I'm not joking. We've had a concert yeah. out in Shoreham by Sea. Yeah. Where, put your hands up. It was amazing, mate. And I think I sent you that thing. Yeah, you did. But like the 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 impact of all of that stuff, which was just so fun in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seeing people outside do that kind of stuff oh, like was was, was was so awesome. Can we find another Jailer song now? Can we maybe? Well, you know, that? one shot's yeah. now my new favourite as well. No, eyes wide shut, isn't it? No, one shot. One shot. Cause, okay, cause, okay. It was eyes wide shut, which I had yeah. like, put on my. Well, you, just, you could just tie it in with the launch of the condoms. Do you know what I mean? Oh my god, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you only get be, one shot. That could be so the make theme it tune. count. To you be fair, I still don't think it gets the words again. right. So it's always like a medley because it's all of the words together just on some sort of melody. <laughs> but I feel like Pete probably needs to show you something that is, you know, very ingrained in staying relevant podcast history. Now, um, it is my front cover. <laughs> what? Where's that come from? <laughs> Because I thought you were going to want to take the piss out of it. Oh, we've run out. Of, you just randomly tried to throw in the front cover. Mate, congratulations, mate. That's wildly. amazing, by the way. He's well just done, on son. mate. That's beautiful. Oh right. My God. Whilst whilst Tony and Marv read Sam's uh, fabulous wild thing front cover, which he purposely gave them to read, just randomly out of nowhere, we are we are done. 
Um, and honestly, guys, thank you so much for coming in. This is. But the... I'm very proud of that, though. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Not one person here cares. All right. Come Not thank one you person. Thank yeah, you for thank you guys. Us. And once again, that day that we spent together was absolutely amazing. That one day, yeah. even though I thought we'd be gone, I'd be gone in a week and I'd get two weeks old, I didn't. But that one day made up for the two weeks that yeah. I stayed there. Best before. thing I have ever it's done amazing. in my life was that show and purely because of the people I met. I think Best the day was better than the mm. show. If I'm not, that one day was <laughs> No, it, the show was also brilliant. But the show was fantastic <laughs> and we've obviously gained friends and brothers for life but yeah, uh, that one day sticks with me more than actually some of the well, large parts of the show. I loved the, the challenges we did. I loved getting to know people, getting to know yous. It was mm. amazing. So yeah, thank you very much. Oh! I, think, I think I said to you on Voice Night the other day, I think like, you know, we were part of an amazing experience. And obviously the 12 of us, yeah, 12 of us will, you know, only know that feeling. But when it, if I hear your voice on a voice note, I speak to Tony, it just takes me back to a nice place. You know what I mean? I do like and a that's voice, why voice. Big T will never go back in. But that's where like, for me, I'm like, I don't know. It's it's, it's mad. It's nice to just... Left and yeah, he's if, left so, if don't don't if, if something's good, mate, don't go back. And make it, <laughs> don't make it. Worse. And I think if it's not broke. Don't fix yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, one piece. Don't, don't <laughs> fuck true. it up. It's For true. the audience and the people that have watched, um, I think you three made that show uh, last year. Genuinely, the friendship that you all had, I think, was was a really beautiful thing, and I think everyone loved seeing that. So Thanks it wouldn't have been anywhere near uh, the same show. And what use. are we going to do next? We're all going to go to a boxing. Fight. Well, I tell you what, we're going to do. They're going to go because we are running. We've been running out of time for twenty minutes. Tomorrow? But you will not shut up. What? You going to Box of Fire tomorrow? Where are you going? O2 at the Indigo. Yeah. You're welcome to come if you want. Fuck, where is it? O2. The Indigo. <laughs> Don't worry, mate. He's, it's okay. It, it takes a while to process. It does, doesn't it? And then he spouts it out. And you just have to... I'll just keep on it in. With, on it. And in fact, is it your weekend with him? <laughs> Fuck off. I've got work this weekend, so I'm going to have to pass him over, and the next weekend's mine. All right, well, you'd have to do double weekends well, then. you'd have to yeah. put him down on the train first. Fuck you. All right, I'll see what I can do. Hand him over. Um, yeah. Guys, thanks for listening. I to... love you both. Love you too, mate. So much. Love sorry. You, love. Thank you, mate. I'm sorry, Pete. I'm sorry. He likes a structure. I know you don't want them to leave. I know. But at some point, we I'm have leaving to with stop. him. We have to stop. <laughs> um, so thank you for listening to Stay Relevant with me, Pete Wicks and Sam Thompson, the amazing Hello. Marvin and Teddy T, Tony Bellew. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, make sure you subscribe, follow and do all that shit. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, uh, Snappy C and YouTube. We come out every Monday with a main episode, which you can watch every Friday. Every Thursday is the bonus, bonus episode. You can watch every Sunday. Rate, review and do all that crap. Ta-da. I've had the best day of my life. Follow, subscribe, and like. There yeah. We go. yeah, go on, Big T. Come on, Big T. Monday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Yeah. yeah. All right. Come on. So how many days?